Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Derek Clues, Music Director at Holy Apostles Church. Thank you for clicking on this video. The purpose of this video is twofold. I'd like to tell you what I've figured out, what I've uh, gleaned about financial stewardship over my 35 years in church ministry. My first experience with stewardship was as a sixth grader at a Lutheran church in Montgomery, Alabama. The synod, which is roughly equivalent to uh, not the diocese, but the regional, the, the region of the country in which our diocese is found, so the southeast. Well, in the Lutheran church, there are not dioceses. Instead, there's just one overarching synod. And generally speaking, that diocese is, or that synod is centralized and provides the printed material, the Sunday school curriculums, the adult Sunday school stuff, anything else that that church needs comes through to the individual parish. Well, this particular synod in this particular year provided stewardship materials to each parish and each person in the parish was called in was called in for a meeting with the stewardship committee, even sixth grade kids. So picture this as a sixth grader, you know, I was basically myself and you're looking at the same sixth grader, just a whole lot older, right? And I had the same kind of thoughts and I can remember on the way home from that meeting, they, my mom went first, then my sister and then me. And I remember my pledge, it was 25 cents a week, which was gonna come out of my allowance. And at first I was like, oh my gosh, I really want to keep that money. But anyway, I eventually figured, uh, figured all that out. And uh, uh, I remember the conversation with my mom following that, that visit with the stewardship committee. And it began with me saying, why is the church being nosy? Why does the church need to know how much money I have? And why does the church want me to commit to weekly funds when I'm probably gonna give anyway. I would really like to keep that information secret and just put money in the plate every week. Why are they getting so nosy? All right, my mom was uh, a previous member of what they, their vestry, it wasn't called a vestry, but it, the same sort of idea. And so she had a great answer already prepared. In fact, she had just a few minutes before me pledged $25 a week. She was a nurse. I don't know what her income was. I think it was something outrageously low, like 14 grand. I mean, this is 1980 something, right? Okay, so she was gonna give $25 a week and I was gonna give 25 cents a week. And I can remember the conversation saying, why do they need to know? Well, my mom's answer for that was, any family, any family has to have a budget. If it's one person or if it's six people, there's a budget involved. You must know what you have coming in every month and what your expenses are every month. You put them side by side. The difference goes in your savings or maybe more, more often than not, the difference is the extra from which you can spend. The difference allows you to prepare for the future. So you pay your regular bills, what's left over helps you prepare for the future. Now, let's take that and, and apply it to Holy Apostles. Holy Apostles needs to know the amount of money coming in every month so they can prepare for you. They can prepare for us. They can keep the structure open and repaired. They can keep the lights on. They can keep the staff paid. Holy Apostles needs to know how much money is coming in every month, just like your family knows how much money is coming in every month. The Excess money left over helps Holy Apostles plan for the future. It helps Holy Apostles plan for the visitor. It helps Holy Apostles build the ministry to the people who live in Hoover and to you and to me. It helps Holy Apostles do everything that they need to do. Now, there are people at Holy Apostles Church that are deeply involved in the maintenance of the building. And those people know, for instance, that the roof is a 25 year roof and it's been on the building for however many years. And they know at what point things, systems are going likely to fail. And so it's very important that, that, that gifts to the church to the poss most possible degree be pledged in writing so that the church has some idea how to plan going forward. You will be asked or are being asked right now to fill out a pledge card for Holy Apostles Church. And that's not because Holy Apostles is being nosy or getting in your business. It's because Holy Apostles wants to prepare and plan for you and for people like you 
who are going to come to Holy Apostles Church and look for the same love and the same acceptance and the same fellowship and the same spiritual underpinnings that we all ex have come to expect from Holy Apostles Church. When you give a gift, it's a twofold, it's a twofold exchange. You give, someone receives. You give, the church receives. You give, an entity receives. Whatever the relationship is, both are changed. But I want you to think about it this way. When you give from either your lack or from your surplus, you give something of you. Part of you goes with that gift. Part of you leaves you and goes to that person. So what I'm asking you to do is consider your gift this year. Consider changing holy apostles in a real and meaningful way through your deliberate giving, through your pledged giving, so that holy apostles can be changed, holy apostles can become a part of you, and holy apostles can reach even further out into the world. I need to wrap this talk up, and I hope you understand there are some loose, thing, loose ends to this, but just food for thought. My gift to you, my gift to the church, changes the church. Sure, it changes me, but the church now has a part of me in it, right? And it cements that relationship in a new and profound way. And the church needs to know what I plan to give. The church needs to know what I can offer. We must know that we can make the bills. We must know what percentage we have left over so that we can give to Greater Birmingham Ministries or the diocese so that they can disperse it or Episcopal Relief Funds or Camp McDowell and all the other wonderful things that the church does. It's very important that Holy Apostles know, at least have some idea of what you plan to give throughout the year. God bless you for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in church.